weekend live on Vincent Odundo. We continue now. And reports of declining quality of education in Kenyan schools have been published numerous times over the past decade with little intervention from the government. Millions of primary school children are graduating without attaining basic numeracy and literacy skills, denying the economic quality human capital it needs to grow. KUTV's Lydia Okeo now reveals that the sector may be facing other woes that have not yet been prioritized. The Ministry of Education has had a myriad of challenges in the past, ranging from the curriculum to lack of infrastructure, just but to name a few. Ten minus six. Perhaps school fees amount may be the next font for tussle between stakeholders. Kisi County Education Board Chairman Dr. Henry Onderi say they have no say on matters of school fees, but their mandate is to give proposals to the Ministry of Education for approval, adding that the lack of proper infrastructure has been reported as one of the challenges facing schools, a matter that was reiterated by Reverend James Mogire. Parents can be involved. In the payment of fees, it's a request. But this kind of request can only be forwarded to the ministry from the county education board. We have no capacity to raise the fee, but we have the capacity to give a proposal to the ministry as to what fee that will be fit for every school in. The government's policy for under-percent transition remains a challenge to us like any other institution in Kenya. The challenges, particularly if I can mention a few, it is inadequate of infrastructure and the shortage of CSC teachers. In Narok County, Narok North, MP Muitalel Olekenta urged all teachers seeking employment to report corrupt officers from the Ministry of Education who ask for handouts or ask to employ them. Adding that the president is in the front line in the fight against graft. He further called on Narok residents to take girls' education seriously. He was speaking during the sixth graduation ceremony at Narok Teachers Training College. Philip Kiyoko from the Ministry of Education stated that the ministry is determined to strengthen the teacher's education program, adding that the government is determined to modernize the institutions by replacing the current P1 training with diploma education.